Here's your daily hat trick. Valverde is left hanging as Barca bosses debate his future. Neymar sees his tenure as Brazil captain end after just eight months. And we'll tell you who's going to win the Europa League final. Post to Post starts now. Going, everybody, welcome to the uh, program. We're gonna limber up here, limber up. Oh, Mike Fuentes, Jeremy St. Uh, Louis, happy to have you along as we make our way through uh, a fine Tuesday. Tuesday after the long weekend here, if you're watching in the United States, uh, the Memorial Day weekend, and we are right back. Some of us had to work on Memorial Day, though. Yeah, right here. Yeah, and so, here too. Uh, oh, that's right. You're here. Extra and a that's bunch right, of other that's stuff. Right, yeah. So uh, happy to be here. Uh, podcast, by the way, Football Crazy Podcast. You can download it on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, and be sure to stop by iTunes and give us a five star rating. We much appreciate it. Me and Phil Shane talking a little footy that this w- week. That was an impressive pitch. If I ever own a restaurant, and yeah, Jeremy's in a. You know pitch what? That. I think at some point in time, uh, I mean, I worked at McDonald's when I was a kid. But I didn't. I didn't have. I didn't have like a voice like I do now. I was sounded like Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. I had the high pitched voice. Pitch voice yeah. Now, if I worked a drive through, you know how much fun that would be for me. Oh, you could do like the whole sixty. Welcome so to like, McDonald's. Yeah. What can I? Yeah. Oh, like the, the movie phone guy. Through the upset. Yeah. Hey, welcome hey, to welcome movie phone. Welcome to movie phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's get to what we're actually here for. A lot of people probably don't even know what that is. It's true. <laughs> uh, let's get to actually what we're here for. Do you know why have you got your hand up? Yes. I think we're gonna go to Daily News. There we go. The Daily News. That's what we're going to start with. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, let us know where you're from, watching from. Drop some comments in for us as we make our way through the daily news. See, Gino, that was the segue that I yeah, had prepared, okay? In the sky. Yeah, okay? No, no, you know, Gino's no just creativity to get it in the sky. Okay, no. so the big news of the day for Barcelona fans is the fact that Ernesto Valverde has still not had his future sorted out. Barca's board uh, meeting on Tuesday to decide what to do. There were early rumors in the day that this was done, that Valverde was going to be sacked, that Roberto Martinez was going to come in and take over, and that it was done and dusted. But it never happened. So what's happening now is apparently the board is going to continue to discuss Valverde's future, and a decision is expected the early part of next week. That's what we were reading this afternoon. So, so wait, this guy has to wait all week? I know. To figure out, that's that's so messed up. That is, uh, for me, I think that that's terrible of Barcelona to do that, to make the guy wait like that. Make the decision, have the vote, do whatever you need to do, but make the decision and let this guy decide. Plus... There are other things involved in this, too, if you're going to bring in somebody else. Yeah. So there, Roberto Martinez is apparently the guy that is, is the odds-on favorite to come in if Valverde gets sacked. He is, of course, the head coach of Belgium. And, Val, and uh, Martinez said this afternoon that if he is approached by Barcelona, he hasn't been, but if he is approached by Barcelona, he's going to have to talk to the Belgian FA before he decides to take the job. He hasn't said either way whether he will or won't. But he said, the only thing he said is that he's going to have to talk to the Belgian FA uh, before deciding on what to do. But let's, can we, can we talk about how that, met, how messed up that is? Is this, a, is this maybe like a tactic, like a, like a, a tactic where, hey, maybe we, if we wait long enough, he'll, um, he'll quit and then we don't got to pay him. Because jobs are going to start, like, you know, drying up. Yeah. You know, because if you wait a week... Well, <laughs> not 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 that not that when you get fired from a big club, you like slide into another big club right away. But I think yeah. I I think with with Valverde going, if he does go, it's going to start a domino effect. I think yeah. we're going to see. Then we're going to start to see some dominoes start to fall. And we do have a number of managerial things that are going to go. Uh, you guys are uh, coming in on us hot. Hmm. Watching from Italy, really. It's late there, huh? That's like really late there. 11 or 12, yeah. You just get back from somewhere? That's yeah. dedication. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of people saying he probably already knows he's out. That's Lorena. Yeah, that's probably true. I mean, if, yeah. if you're taking this long to decide, chances are it's not going to be very good. Yeah, because if you know, you know. The longer yeah. it takes, the worse yeah. it is. Right? I mean, I, and I don't think you should quit at this point. Now you got to fire me. Yeah. Because I'm trying to stay paid for free. Rusty you know? says a Dutch coach is due. Ronald Koeman's name has been mentioned as well. And Coleman is, of course, the coach of Holland. And he said this afternoon he has not been approached, but he would certainly consider the Barcelona job, but he would not uh, commit himself to the Netherlands. Well, so it not. looks like, here's, here's Roberto Martinez that says, hang on a second. 
I'm going to talk to the Belgian FA before I do anything. And then you got Coleman who's saying, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not tied to anybody. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go where right, I need I'm to go. I'm ready to go, yeah. These were the three choices that I uh, came up with as replacements. This is the dark horse guy, Kiki Setien. I think Kiki Setien actually could be a good Barcelona manager. He did a great job with Betis. Consistency was an issue, I get that, but they play free-flowing, attacking football. Uh, Barcelona fans love that. That's kind of the Barcelona way that they like to play. Plus, he's the only manager that went to the new Camp, that went to the Bernabeu, and won in the same season. Yeah, but I think, I think they That's want, impressive. I think they want an outside guy. I think uh, Valverde was one of those guys they brought up from a small club in La Liga. And I think they, and by the way, very fortunate. You guys are really nice getting uh, Mar, uh, Martinez yeah. here, the, the hair shot, by the way. He's been bald for a yeah, while. Yeah, he's been bald for a while. And you guys, you guys, nice guys out here on, at being sports. But uh, yeah, I don't think they go with Setien. I mean, Coleman could be okay, because like, I asked guys off the table, right? So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said he wants to stay one more year. Yeah, he wants to stay one more in, year. Uh, in Amsterdam, so. so. Yeah. Uh, everybody coming in, uh, Jesse, Shavi, player to coach in a hot five minutes. That didn't take long. Yeah, it didn't. <clears throat> uh, watching from Colombia, I think Valverde has done a good job, but not good enough for the era and for the Barca players. Jesse, you, that's a that's a very that's a very. Do you know what's the number that we comment. saw for Valverde the other day? That he has like an eighty percent win. Yeah, he's won like seventy percent, seventy five percent of his games. But no, you lose two games at the wrong time, and you're out of here. So yeah, terrible, terrible. The worst coach I've ever seen. He's just awful. Like who, who wants uh, that guy? Friends yeah. coming in here from uh, yeah. Guadalajara, yeah. Mexico. Love me some Mexico. Yeah. Uh, at least it's not like he'll quit after the European, European finals. Final. True. Mm. We need a Pep back. Well, Pep ain't coming. Yeah, so, Pep, Pep's, uh, Pep's not. Pep's all right. He's that train, that ship money. has uh, yeah, that ship has sailed. sailed. Yeah. That ship has sailed. So we're going to have to wait on the Valverde situation, but I honestly don't think it's going to take until next week. No, I think we're going to know in the next, next couple, couple of days. days. Yeah. yeah, I think we're going to know in the next couple. I think they're kind of just, I think the Barca board is perhaps just making sure that who they want is going to be ready to come in. Yeah. So that might be a phone call or two. Yeah, because I think to they want to kind wanna, of figure that out. They want to do like the fired and hired combo. Yeah, you don't want to do <laughs> Because the longer you have like the speculation, that invites yeah. more media and more speculation yeah. and all sorts of crazy rumors, and you just want to get it done. Guys, uh, let us know who you think should be the Barca, the next Barcelona coach, uh, if you want, in the yeah. comments. Abdi uh, asking about Ten Hag, and he said he wants to stay. Yeah, he wants to he stay. He wants to stay at Ajax for another season. Guys, so. according to Diego Gonzalez, he's out tomorrow. They're hiring Roberto Martinez. You are late news, guys. Yeah, I heard that too, but, you know, until it's reported, yeah. And so, according to, so, you know what, next. What's next? Let's talk about uh, what's going on with a former Barcelona player, now PSG, Neymar, who has been stripped of the captaincy with Brazil, Chiche uh, making the move to strip him of the captaincy and uh, insult to injury. He gives it to Neymar's PSG teammate, teammate Danny Alves. It's going to be great for chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Let me well, especially because, yeah. Neymar, especially because Neymar is yeah, such... Yeah. Yeah. Ne ne you know, Neymar's such a mature guy. Yeah, he's so reasonable about Yeah, stuff. he takes these things so well. Yeah. So I think it's going to really do things. Yeah. Ooh, Gino. Nice. Whoa. Yeah. Diving yeah. down, you he mean. Probably, he, probably, he probably rolled around after he heard the news. Yeah, exactly. Um, but this is something that I don't think is a surprise to many, except perhaps Neymar. Uh, Chiche basically saying, look, you can't be the captain of Brazil and be suspended from your club team in Europe, be suspended from Twice. your club team in the league, uh, getting into fights with fans, calling younger players... Uh, not mature enough to handle the pressure, and you know, criticizing the officiating and all that stuff. So I think that I think that this is a message from Chiche to Neymar, saying, "Look, man up a bit, do your job, but don't don't worry about the other yeah, stuff." Yeah, like a like a prove it type deal. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Do your stuff on the field. And Danny Alves, I mean, is a, you know, I don't think there's too many that are going to stand up to Danny Alves. Yeah. And, he's he's been mired by um, some non-footballing, I wouldn't say scandals, but entities ever since he got injured. Yeah. You know, the whole way he was on the pitch when they lost to Man United, and then they had the, yeah. you know, the whole punching thing and the way he was in the World Cup. And, you know, the World Cup thing is probably what people remember the most. You know, because people still reference it the other day. Oh, I don't take Neymar because now kids are rolling on the ground because of him, you know. Yeah, doing like the that. Neymar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, And the Copa America, I mean, I think, I, I actually don't think this is a bad move by Chiche in terms of giving Neymar a kick in the pants. Like, I, I, mm -hmm. I think this is kind of putting Neymar in his place and saying, okay, the Copa America is coming up. This is a chance for you to prove that you actually deserve to be the captain of Brazil. Go out and lead by example. 
lead us to the Copa America. And every time Brazil's hosted it, they've won it. So they mm -hmm. have to be one of the, they are the favorites going in. For me, they're the favorites going into the Copa Maybe America. Maybe he's like protecting Neymar because if they don't win it, and the first time they don't win it with Neymar in the captaincy, fragile little Nene, you know? Yeah, there's, uh, there's some people that are saying here that... Uh, hey, your boy. Hey, Alex, watching from Canada. Where mm -hmm. in Canada, Alex? Canada's mm -hmm. a big country. Um, right near the snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, nice. Nice. Uh, there was a comment in here. Yeah. Uh, Ab Abdinafi says here, as a PSG fan, Neymar isn't a leader. Give it to Marquinhos. What's wrong with Danny? That's interesting. Danny? What's wrong with Danny? Alves? It all started when he left Messi's shadow. Maybe this is what he was missing. Neymar had it coming, says Maria from five feet away. Uh, will Neymar <laughs> ever live up to the expectations from years past? That's a good... Uh, he's a little injury prone now. I don't know. And then it's... the thing was... He's suffering from a little thing I like to call that me and my brother came up with here called Alex Rodriguez system syndrome. When he was young, he was really, really good, right? And then when he had a little bit of a fall off, everybody's like, oh, you know what? He stinks now. It's not that he doesn't stink. It's just not amazing. You know, he's allowed to have down years, which are still better than every other player in the world. So uh, Kyle's getting it done with uh, Ultimate Team. Yeah, it's yeah, El Capitan foot. Yeah, FIFA we, Ultimate Team. And we run it. That's great. Yeah, it's too yeah, bad. We run uh, it. It's too bad you don't get the other now stuff the there. Neymar's coming back to Barca and swapping Dembele. Uh, no. it's just that's just a rumor. There's no way Neymar yeah. comes back to Barcelona. Uh, you heard it here first. My point is guarantees it. Let's just do a couple of uh, let's just do a couple of quick hitters here. Uh, Andre Villas-Boas has been appointed to the new manager at Marseille on a two-year deal. He hasn't been coaching since 2017 when yeah. he was fired by Shanghai. Uh, He's coaching in the Chinese Super League. I remember when Villas-Boas was the big guy. I mean, yeah, he, was he was a big the name. name. He was the young yeah. guy, the the guy who was going to change. He was at Tottenham. He was at Chelsea for a hot minute, mm -hmm. and then he went over to the went, went over to China and kind of haven't heard from him since. He took part in the 2018 Dakar Rally. He did. I heard about that. And bowed out in the fourth stage in Peru mm -hmm. with a back problem. And now he's back in football. A good chance at redemption for Andre Villas-Boas. I think that there's a chance, there's a time when he was, you know, the hot property. Well, I mean, and, uh, I, I like these, I kind of like these non-professional playing coaches because they don't get, I feel like there's less pride there, more cerebral type mm -hmm. thinking. So, um, I like the hire. Okay. Uh, as much as I know about it. Do you like the next hire? No. I'm I'm sad it's <laughs> no I mean I'm okay He's with the I'm okay with it yeah. I'm just mad He's it's still a, a story. Yeah. And Renders in the city of champions, Ooh. Edmonton. Sorry, former city of champions. Uh, Is that like Boston now or something? Watching from the Toronto area says Brandon. Nice. nice. Oh, nice. go Raptors. Yeah, let's okay. go Raptors. We did. Uh, Mike and I were doing NBA uh, previews this afternoon for we our colleagues in Doha. Yeah. So we're all about the Raptors. Let's go. Okay, uh, the next hire is, uh, was mentioned by you guys in the comments. Somebody jumping ahead in the queue. Uh, Xavi was hired as the coach of El Saad, the team he was playing for in Qatar. Uh, spent four years in Qatar, made 100 appearances. Uh, retired last week. Yeah, how, how, how long ago was he playing for the team? Oh, a yeah. week ago. Uh, eight days ago. Yeah, yeah. eight days yeah. ago. Was he, last uh, game. Was, yeah. His oh, final 20th. game was uh, against Persepolis in the Asian yeah. Champions, Champions League. League. And now he is the new coach of El Saad on a two-year contract. And he said he's going to have the team playing the Barcelona way, which is what he was taught. So he <laughs> or said he's or gonna, some kind of version of it, I'm sure. <laughs> or a version of the yeah. Barcelona way. <laughs> some kind of version yeah. of it, I'm sure. Yeah. So that's, I mean, yeah. this is, I think... You, Mike was saying this isn't news. Mm. I think that this is news not, in a way that it, it's news in a way that this is the start of his uh, of his ascension to Barcelona. I didn't say it wasn't news. I just said I'm tired of hearing about it. All right, because we had the farewell game last week, and then there's another game, and now we're talking about him again. 39 years old. Okay, we get it. It's over. He's the coach. Let's go. Yeah. It's Qatar. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, go. Yeah. Ryan's giving you the gears here saying uh, yeah. our friends at the four letter were talking about it two hours ago. It doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, I mean, especially right. when it comes to transfer rumors. I mean, you know how whoa. easy is it? Yeah. You know how easy it is to say a source says? All the time. And then it's off to you. Yeah. Hey, guys, journalism trick 101. If you say a source says or a rumor or reports, boom, it's not really you anymore. There you, you know? go. That's like right. a report says I'm having a cheeseburger for dinner. Yeah. Not true. Who knows? It's true. I want a healthy thing. Look at this bod. <laughs> Eat a salad. Eat a salad. You know, no carbs after four, guys. All right, next. Okay, let's move along. The other big story of the day, right. the two big stories of the day. This really one is actually from, huge. Really <laughs> coming from Spain yeah. uh, with the Barcelona situation with Valverde and match fixing in La Liga. This is something that is very, very big. Yeah. Uh, nine players arrested this morning, including a former Real Madrid player. Um, a former Valladolid player who was just retired, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. uh, 27 mm -hmm. games are under investigation from the 2018-19 season, but none of them are said to be 
professional games, which means they're in the lower divisions, but at least one game is under investigation. That's the Valencia Valladolid game, the final yeah. game of the season. Uh, Borja, uh, it is Borja Fernandez who was playing in that game. Uh, the defensive midfielder, they, Valladolid gave up two suspect goals mm -hmm. as Valencia won that game 2-0. That game is being looked at. Uh, for possible yeah. match fixing. I think the president of Huesca got a... Uh, the got, president uh, of Huesca was arrested and charged, too. accused, pardon me, accused of money laundering, corruption, and being part of a criminal enterprise. Uh, the game between Huesca and Gymnastic had 14 times the bets placed on it. Uh, so that kind of... They snitch on themselves with the unusual betting. That kind of uh. pop, that kind of pop things off. And so mm -hmm. this is something that is going to continue to develop. Um, some of the players that are the the real uh, ringleaders of this, Raul Bravo, the former Real Madrid player, is considered to be the ringleader of all of it. We have Borja Fernandez involved, uh, Carlos Aranda, who played for eight different La Liga teams, Inigo Lopez, who was with El Corcon. Uh, they're being investigated for trying to fix games from the first, second, and third divisions of Spanish football. So the investigation is ongoing, but obviously this is huge news. Javier Tebas come out today and said, look, this is hard for us, but... We report potential match fixing to the authorities all the time when we kind of keep track of what's going on. So we have been in touch with authorities on a regular basis about matches that are potentially being fixed. And now it's kind of coming out that there's arrests being made and now charges are actually going to be coming. And he says, this is painful for us. La Liga damages us as a league, but it's something that we have to do in terms of corruption. And it really doesn't look good for Tebas, who a week ago was accusing Man City and PSG of yeah, being, that's right, about oil money of and, being uh, oil money clubs yeah. and 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 saying that the that that these should be thrown out of the Champions League. This and, is a classic life comes at you fast moment, guys. Yeah. All right. So So that's really gotta watch a, that's your mouth really unfortunate. It comes back to you. That's really and, unfortunate. Um, yeah. But I mean and just it's it's just bad for football as a whole, right? Because Cachopoli and all that stuff, like still feeling that and then it has this little ire of there's always something going on. Like, what do we say right away when you see, like, a suspicious red card or something like that in a big tournament? Oh, the fix is in. Yeah, the you fix know? is in. So when your sport's constantly getting this and then there actually is arrests that go beyond that, it's a, it's a bad look for everybody involved. And I remember when the Bundesliga had a similar situation a few years back with second and third division games. And, um, yeah, tough. Tough yeah, going. it's not good news for La Liga, obviously, and uh, as you said, the situation continuing to develop, so it's something that we'll be keeping our eyes, we'll probably be talking about it mm. uh, for the next little while as it continues to develop. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the daily news. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go over to the fun stuff, which is uh, bold predictions, yeah? Kind of. There we go. Bold predictions. Gotcha. Let's go. I already got mine. There we go. I already got it. Okay, so the Europa League final is being played on Wednesday. Uh, Arsenal and Chelsea uh, going at it in Baku. Really interesting uh, video coming out of Chelsea training session oh, today. Oh, yeah, big fight. Yeah, apparently yeah. Uh, some players not really uh, getting along. Yeah, yeah, Gonzalo was, uh, Higuain and yep. David Luiz uh, getting into it with each other in training. And Yeah, it's a conversation about hair. You're too curly. You're bald. What's up? You know, yeah, they right? weren't. Uh, they <laughs> yeah. weren't. They weren't happy with one yeah. another. But I mean, yeah. I, I don't. That I happens. don't know what to think about yeah, this that because happens. it's. Yeah, you know, that happens all the time. It, the players get into beefs and training all yeah, the time. Yeah, all the time. It just happens. But the the thing that does catch the eye is Sari when he came off. Uh, Mauricio Sari was not happy. He came off. Uh, there's video of it on social media. Takes his hat, throws it on the ground, then he kicks it, and so. He was obviously not happy with either the level of intensity in Chelsea's training or the way that Chelsea were kind of handling things. And so uh, it doesn't really set the table very nicely for Chelsea's mindset ahead of the Europa League final coming up on Wednesday versus the Arsenal. But it's things like this. It is things like yeah. this where you see teams have this happen and you're like, oh my gosh, they're going to get yeah. done and they go out and win 5 now. Listen, Unai Emery, he's got a worry face all the time. You know, he's got this stupid little face. Uh, you know, everybody's picking them to win. Eric Krakauer picked them to win, which means they're doomed. All right? Sorry, Eric Krakauer. Get it? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Eric Krakauer. Yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea wins. All right? 2 nothing. What, right? is this, what is this idiot doing? Yeah, we're skipping that. We're yeah. skipping that. We don't want to give that out. Yeah, what are you, what are you, who are you picking? Who are you picking? Picking Mopey Faze, Umrah Emery? Yeah, I'm picking idiot. Arsenal. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm picking Arsenal. This guy. Can't trust this guy. What? I'm what? picking Arsenal to win 1-0. Yeah, two, see, look. See, Chelsea, 2 nothing in Hazard's final. Radu, you know, he makes all these bad jokes about Rabio Day, Radu. Radu, Rabio, I get it. But he's smart now, all right? And, okay. and Maria's going for Chelsea, too. I, I say you bet something. 
No. Yeah. I don't want, I don't care enough to bet. Cookies. Oh, cookies, yeah. Yeah, yeah cookies yeah. that Jeremy already baked. Yeah, that are already done. They're not yeah. going to make any work for me at all, <laughs> which I don't, uh, I don't mind that at all. Um, so, okay, so you're picking Chelsea. I'll do 2 nothing Chelsea. 2 nothing Chelsea. I'm going 1-0 to Arsenal because the two teams are, I think there's, I think they're very similar. So um, I wouldn't yeah. be. Uh, Ooh, we know you got that Peter Chech goodbye game. Yes. So I think that, uh, and it's against his old team. Uh, the fix is in. The fix is <laughs> the in. The fix is in. <laughs> yeah. With his bad teeth. That's amazing. Yeah. So so I'm going with Arsenal. You're going with Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, let's hit a couple of comments I'll, before we go. I'll bet you a free glass of water cooler water from the thing over here. Wow. Uh, okay. Man up, buddy. Sorry. All right. Man up, buddy. All right. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Congrats to Xavi. Says Kenny, huh? On the job he had already. Probably in his contract, to be honest, when he Wilson signed. Wilson says he'll take Ramos at Man United. Yeah. Uh, Sergio Ramos. Arsenal win on penalty, says Clayton. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Could be. I mean, that's so tricky, right? Because then you're going through extra time. Then you're getting the penalties. Then you got to hope Arsenal wins on penalties. You know? Alex hoping that there's three goals in the game. That's optimistic. Okay, uh, final, yeah. let's end it. Let's uh, end it there, guys. Uh, don't forget to join us for Sports Burst uh, noon Eastern time mm-hmm. every weekday with Gabby Amato and her cavalcade of guests and the disembodied voice of Mike Fuentes shouting from the desk. Yeah, that's always a ton of fun. And we're back here tomorrow to recap the Europa League final here on Post to Post at 5:30 p.m. Eastern time. And hey, we've got Copa Sudamericana stuff coming up all week long. Uh, games tonight, games tomorrow, the Recopas on Thursday. We got your football covered all also, week long also. oh yeah right. oh yeah we're looking for your votes on la liga's best 11 you can go to beinsports.com to cast your vote for that almost missed that one yeah, i would have gotten, gotten in trouble yeah, so yeah. all right on behalf of mike and uh, everybody that's uh here in the peanut gallery thanks for joining us today guys thanks for your comments we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 30 p.m eastern time for another edition of post to post